The Historical Museum of Bern is the right place to begin with the history of the capital of Switzerland, which was founded with a unique townscape in 1191. The town became a member of the Swiss Confederation and experienced the Reformation and Peasant War. The compact old city centre is situated on a narrow rocky ridge protected by a bend in the Ara River. The landmark visible from afar is the late Gothic Minster Sankt Vincennes, whose 100 metre high tower rises above the silhouette of the old town. The Minster is the largest sacred building in Switzerland. The construction of one of the most valuable late Gothic church buildings in Northern Europe began as early as 1421. As in Ulm and other southern German cities, only one tower was built, which was completed much later. The interior of the three naves is simple yet majestic, illuminated through five beautiful windows. The unique vault, the Baroque organ, and the carved choir stalls across the entire width fascinate. To the side of the church, towards the banks of the Ara, lies the Minster platform, a small park with a view. From here, a lift on the 14th century supporting wall leads down to the Matt district. Matt was created during the construction of the cathedral, with typical houses inhabited by craftsmen and ferrymen of the neighbouring quay. At the top, the Neideg Bridge leads from the old town across to the Ara to the opposite hill, with an overwhelming view of the bank and upper town. This is where the new Bear Park was created, which of course every visitor to the city must have seen. The moat is home to the town's comical heraldic animals, who are more than happy here. The legend tells of Duke Berthold, who shot a bear here and then named his town Bern. The location was well chosen. Protected from three sides by the river valley, it only had to be fortified with walls and gates towards the west. By 1405, the wooden buildings were replaced by sandstone houses after a fire. Typical for Bern are the arcades, which run along both sides of the alleys and are in total six kilometers long. At Kramgasse 49, Albert Einstein worked on the theory of relativity. In his apartment, documents and photos provide information about the life and work of the world-famous physicist. Even fountains have significant statues and demonstrate pride and wealth. The Berner Town Hall is a remarkable work of late Gothic architecture, perhaps the most important in Switzerland. The external stone flight of steps leads to the entrance on the first floor. On the other side of the small square, the Catholic St. Peter and St. Paul Church was built in neo-Gothic style. This house of worship was the first Catholic church in the city after the Reformation and was assigned to the old Catholics during the Culture War. Not far away is the French church. 
In 1270, the oldest church of the city was built for a Dominican monastery. From 1623, it became the church of the French-speaking Protestants. From the Kirchfeld Bridge, the pompous-looking Swiss Bundeshaus with its dome can be seen in all of its glory. From the promenade along the Parliament, you can enjoy the view of the wooded Ara Valley and newer mansions. The northern façade is inspired by a Roman temple, which corresponded to the taste of the time at the end of the 19th century. The Bundesterrasse ends in a small park, which was created around the Kleiner Schanze. Little rivulets and ponds were created here, as a romantic environment for the Universal Postal Monument, which reminds us that Bern has been the founding city and seat of the Universal Postal Union since 1874. The side of the Parliament facing the Bundesplatz also impresses with a neo-Renaissance facade. The Heiligkeitskirche is one of the most important Protestant church buildings in Switzerland. Also inside a typical example of the Bernese late Baroque with neoclassical elements. In the middle of the Bernplatz, which was originally a moat, rises the defiant cage tower. This tower was formerly the city gate and also served as a prison later on. The city aristocracy knew how to build stately burgher and guild houses. The Zietglocke Tower was also a city gate, the second oldest building of Bern. A Baroque defensive tower with a famous calendar and music box. The internal mechanics are still unchanged until today and can be visited. Besides the time of the day and the days of the week, this work of art also indicates the month, the sign of the zodiac and the phases of the moon. From the tower window, the views over the alleys and roofs of the old town are fascinating. Prince Berthold died without heirs. The citizenry took over and in 1218, Bern already became a free imperial city. In 1353, the meanwhile important canton joined the new Swiss Confederation. In the 16th century, the diligence and pride of the citizenry of Bern led to the deserved centre of power. It was followed by riots and wars, but Bern survived everything and finally became the capital of Switzerland in 1848.